Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to come up with some filler material in an anime. And sometimes the filler characters can be what entertain you more than what's going on in the story. So today I want to show you all 10 of the best filler characters in Dragon Ball Z and to show the appreciation of these characters. But before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to Sam Hayden, Sucario64, Psycho Mantis, Lafonso Sims Jr., Justin Soto, Professor Peculiar, and Aaron Ornelas. Thank you my fellow Scorpions for staying tuned to the Scorpion channel and showing the love for Dragon Ball Z and much more. Now, without any more delays, let's begin. Number 10, Karani and Piroski. These two guys are Mr. Satan's top students and they couldn't be any more hilarious than Mr. Satan. They participated in the Cell games and proved to be just as pathetic as Mr. Satan. We barely get to see them again after the Cell Saga as they can be seen briefly throughout Dragon Ball Super and it's a shame as they could have given us some more comedic moments. It's hilarious how Karani acts before his fight against Cell which kind of reminds me of Vega from Street Fighter and Pirozki reminds me of Zangi from Street Fighter. Not sure whether that's what the creators were going for as an inspiration but I like the results. It was a great way to set us up for some laughs just before the real fight against Cell. Number 9, C6. C6 is a Capsule Corp robot that Gohan found while training for the fight against Nappa and Vegeta. Gohan fell into a dark cave and stumbled upon C6 who apparently had been stuck there for years. The robot didn't mind being stuck as he felt it was relaxing and he enjoyed the sleep. But as Gohan was alone and in need of a way out, C6 did come in handy and even cooked some food for Gohan. And even when he was being annoyed by Gohan's presence, he still helped him out. He helped him escape the cave and once it collapsed, that was the last time we saw him. What a sacrifice this magnificent robot made for a good hearted kid. Number 8. The Grand Kai for the longest time, I thought the Grand Kai was the top-notch Kai of all Kais. But then we were introduced to more Kais and then eventually more powerful gods. Anyways, the Grand Kai is actually a pretty cool and hip Kai. He kinda reminds me of Master Roshi and one thing I feel became a letdown was when everyone kept saying that they want to be trained by him but it takes years and years to be granted a chance to be trained by the Grand Kai. But then we meet stronger characters and gods like Beerus and Whis, and when you are trained by Whis, he can make Goku and Vegeta reach the limit of Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. So does this mean that training with the Grand Kai is possibly an exaggeration of great limits? I'm pretty sure his training won't even help defeat opponents stronger than Kid Buu, otherwise he would have jumped in and fought against Kid Buu when the other world was invaded by him. Either way, he was an interesting character and a fun one at that. Number 7, Cynthia. This lady was hilarious. She was Pickle's driver's ed instructor and at first she seemed like your typical nice employee but then she turns out to be the bigger reckless driver. It's funny because we were expecting Pickle to be the one driving like a crazy person. But here it appears that she influenced him to drive as fast as you can and not let anyone get in your way. I wonder if she'll ever show up again to teach Goten or Gohan how to drive. That would be a pretty great cameo. Number 6, Olibu. Olibu is one of the other world's strongest fighters. He makes his first appearance when King Kai introduces him to Goku once he arrives at the Grand Kai's mansion. He has a great attitude like Goku and his power level appeared to be as strong as Pycon's and although he lost against Pycon in the other world tournament, he said he lost because he wanted to see Goku fight against Pycon. But the next time we saw him fight again was against Yamcha and he appeared to not even be a challenge against Yamcha. He even had a partner helping him take on Yamcha but they were no match against him. That was a filler moment but since Olibu is a filler character then there's no explanation to how strong he really is. Especially since we hadn't seen Yamcha train or fight in a long time. Number 5. Zeshi. Zeshin is part of a rebel crew that was attacked by Frieza's forces. He is the leader of a colony of vagabond youths who travel in an invisible spaceship. 
I wasn't really interested in what these kids were going through or what their story was at the time. I wanted to see Gohan, Krillin, and Bulma reach Namek. But after showing us what happened to them, it turns out that they are all orphans. After this encounter with them, we never see them again, so it leaves us wondering whatever happened to them after Gohan, Krillin, and Bulma left. Did they ever reach salvation? Or did they eventually get attacked by Frieza's forces and wiped out? I guess we'll never know. Number 4. Marin. One of Krillin's best decisions. Marin is a sexy babe that went out with Krillin after the Namek Saga. She appeared to be your typical blonde who has no clue about anything that's going on, but she sure gives us some laughs, as the other women do get jealous because she's the new eye candy, and because she called them old ladies. Some funny facts about her are that she may be very beautiful, but she is downright stupid. When she was playing cards with Korn and Yajirobe, Korn couldn't read her mind as he tells Yajirobe that he's seen party balloons with more on their mind. Number 3, Mrs. Crab. Technically, this crab doesn't have a name, but we'll go with Mrs. Crab. No affiliation to Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. Although, that would be funny. Mrs. Crab is the giant crab in the Namekian Ocean that protected her eggs, including the four star Dragon Ball. Bulma jumped into the ocean with the submarine and attempted to get the Dragon Ball, but Mrs. Crab saw it as a threat trying to steal her eggs, so she attacked Bulma and she had to retreat while she could. But then two of Frieza's soldiers known as Raspberry and Blueberry, yes, such fruity names, well, they appeared and forced Bulma to reveal the location of the Dragon Ball. To her advantage, she knew that Mrs. Crab was in there, so she managed to work with Mrs. Crab and take the Dragon Ball while Mrs. Crab deals with the bad guys. It was a pretty interesting filler moment, even though it was clearly unnecessary, but in the end, we loved it. Number 2. The Supreme Kais The Supreme Kais appeared in a flashback that showed us how the Kais used to live like, but that wasn't the main point. What we saw in the flashback was that Kid Buu was brought into the world and he became an extremely powerful threat. Bibidi was the creator of Kid Buu and he sent Buu everywhere to kill all sorts of innocent lives just for the hell of it. Soon after all the destruction, Bibidi sent Buu after the Supreme Kais. They all had potential which was the interesting thing about it, showing us that they had potential to handle any threat, all threats except for Kid Buu. He was undeniably stronger than all of them. Sadly, Boo took them out one by one. Maybe they would have stood a chance if they somehow worked together to imprison him like King Kai and the other Kais did with Bojack. But Boo was too strong and they ended up either being killed off or absorbed. Number 1. Pycon. Pycon gave us one badass intro, taking out Cell, Frieza, and King Cold without a problem. He became the finalist and Goku's opponent in the other world tournament. Personally, I would have liked it if his character continued growing from there, because after his defeat against Goku, it seems like he either stopped training or that was as strong as he could ever become because we never see him come back except for in the movie of Fusion Reborn, but even there they make him seem like a weakling more and like a comedic relief instead. Either way, I thought he was a really cool character before and I'd like to see him face off against Piccolo to see who is stronger. Well, that's it for the top 10 list. I hope you enjoyed the video and if so, put a thumbs up. And if there are any other videos you would love to request, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to shout out a video request or you want to ask me a question for the next Q&A video, I strongly recommend you post it on my Facebook page. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out a lot. And I'll let you know when I post up more videos. As for now, this is Score saying, have an awesome day.